Today, we will provide a concise overview of the installation process for SPM 3000-6000 TLHU. The fundamental components of the system include the SPM 3000-6000 TLHU microgrid inverter and low voltage battery. The system also supports the connection of CT and smart meter to monitor the grid site. Before installation, we need to prepare the required tools. The operating environment is so important that it will influence the lifespan of the system. Please don't expose the system to the environment of sunshine, rain, and snow. To ensure the machine can run properly and easy to operate, please provide adequate space. Install the inverter vertically or at a maximum back tilt of 15 degrees. Do not install the inverter at a front tilt, horizontally, or upside down. Unpack the package and inspect for any signs of damage or missing components. In the event that such issues arise, kindly reach out to the supplier for immediate assistance. Place the mounting bracket horizontally on the wall, ensuring its alignment. Proceed to mark and drill holes at the designated position indicated on the template. Insert the expansion screw rudder sleeve into each hole before securely fastening them with expansion screws. Please prepare the appropriate cable before the wiring. Make sure the PV switch is off. Please utilize the L-type hexagon wrench provided in the accessories bag to access the wiring box. Connect the ground cable. Unscrew the balls and fit ring terminal in. Fasten the bolt. Make sure the connection is firmly. If a lithium battery is being utilized, it is essential to connect the battery communication cable to the BMS port. If users opt for the utilization of a lead-acid battery in order to employ the temperature compensation function, it is necessary to connect the temperature sensor to both port 1 and port 2 of the functional interface. Connect the wires to the corresponding terminal blocks in accordance with the silk screen markings on the inverter. SPM36KTLHU provides smart load port and backup load port. Users could connect the non-essential load to the smart load port and control it by the SOC of the battery or status of the grid. Strip 10 millimeters of the cable insulation. Insert the positive and negative cables of the PV panels into the MC4 terminal. Then connect them to the inverter PV connection port, respectively. Then connect them to the inverter PV connection port, respectively. Install the CT on the live wire of the grid. Pay attention to the direction of the CT. The arrow of the CT should point from the grid to the load. Insert the white wire of CT to port 3 of the function port and black wire to the port 4. Remove the waterproof cover of the USB port, then plug in the Shine YLAN X2 data logger. Tighten the waterproof connector and close the wiring box. Turn on the inverter and switch on the PV switch.
Scan the QR code to download the Shine Phone app for configuration. Login account and add plan. Scan the QR code to add the data logger. Choose networking method, Wi-Fi or LAN. Configure the network. Select Wi-Fi name and enter the password. 